What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Gold Crest by Stevie. Let's play here on the PC. Do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? And welcome. And like I threatened or promised or whatever you want to call it, right at the end of the last video, jumping right back into the map. Boom. Like, what, a minute later or something to record the Friday episode. Hope you guys are enjoying two videos a week of this series in case you didn't know there's two videos a week in the series guys on Wednesdays at noon central as well in addition to this Friday at noon central noon central noon 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 noon, noon, noon central uh, video <laughs> such a professional over here so guys Wednesday and Fridays at noon central right here gold crest by Stevie do appreciate you guys clicking on the video welcome like I said, the other two days that I do Let's Plays will be Tuesday and Thursday over in the Rattlesnake Valley. That's a fun map, by the way. In case you guys haven't checked that series out, that's a good one. That is a good one. It's it's big, though. It's a 4. 4X. Four and we're going to be there a long time. So, I do appreciate it. Alright, so, this video, guys, we are harvesting corn right now. And we'll probably work on getting rid of the corn. And whatever else is in the train, we need to get rid of whatever's in the homestead. I know there's some canola in our homestead. Uh, let me check here, guys. We've got canola in the homestead. Let's get rid of that crap. Like, we don't we don't need it. We actually have a little bit of card in the homestead, too. We should probably just get rid of that, too. And holy crap. I wonder if we have any bull pallets to sell right now. 23,000 a, a ton of Rooney. Um, I'm in. It's a lot of money and it's going up. I wish I had a stockpile of wool right now. We'd be millionaires, but uh, I guess such is life. That's okay. All right, this guy's going to fill me up, buttercup. Fill me up. You know what? That's what I should buy on this map, guys. I should totally get one of the Kuleman auger wagons on this map. That's what I should do. I don't think I have them in my mods on this map, though. And besides, we're trying to... Actually, that $200,000 we do have, plus whatever we get from selling the corn, the canola. We don't need our canola. No, we're doing cows. But we need money to buy cows. That's kind of the next priority on this map. And uh, after the fast time, that silage that's up there will be ready to go. So we will be able to start with cows, which is very exciting. We've been working towards it for a little while here since we made our mind up that cows are what we wanted to do on this map. So we're doing pigs and sheep right now over on Goldcrest, or this is Goldcrest, over on Rattlesnake. Uh, we're getting into pigs over there. Sheep are kind of just like the every map thing, you know, because they're so easy and you can make a ton of money by having sheep. So there's that. But this map we are going to be getting into cows here soon, actually. Yeah, really soon. We will need to do a couple things to be able to get into cows. One, and I don't know if I've added it to the mod pack yet. I keep forgetting to add it in. Oh, we have Christmas trees. Oh, sweet. I forgot about that. Um, Yeah, let's see. No, I've not added it. I want to add the placeable uh, feed makers. Because I don't want to use the drivable one, by the way. Let's check that out. Uh, you have the tow behind one to make your mixed rations. Or you have the drivable one to make your mixed rations. I don't really, and then there's a modded drivable. Wait, what's the difference? The crops are in different rotations. That's all. Does that hold more? 33. So, oh, wow, that holds 33,000. That's huge. Uh, I just don't really want to. I, I don't really want to use those. I'd rather use the placeable mixing station type thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think that's just a better way to go at it for. for making these videos you know so let me know what you guys think about that should I do the batches in the actual mixers like the in-game maybe get them bigger modded one uh, but I've done that on I did that on Sosnovka and I'm kinda over that life and hey take advantage of the mods that we can get here on the PC so that's kinda why I wanna go with the mixing like placeable mixing thing you know makes sense in my head I hope it makes sense in your all's head as well and actually capitalizing on the biogas plant might not be a bad idea to uh, make some of that that'd be cool to put it right there in the biogas and then haul it as needed to the cows that'd be cool 
to sign. All right, you're good to go we'll finish the field. And you are about to finish the field, so we'll just come and uh, empty you out, and then hopefully we'll have enough room to finish off a green combine. I like having the two combines different colors. If you guys don't know, about the green combine last episode, or no, about the red combine last episode, my apologies, the wrong color. Red with green rims, and this one, of course, is green with red rims. So it all ties together, you see? It's magic like that, you see, boys? It's magic. <laughs> Or not so much magic, but you know, it still works, right? Okay. So I will be uh, probably adding some mods to this particular uh, Let's Play. Just, you know, it's always good to add some newer mods as we continue to Let's Play the map. And uh, change things up just a little bit from time to time. And if you guys are wondering, I know this is a question that gets asked occasionally on the different maps is where do I get all the mods that you're using there's a Google Drive link in the description down below that will take you to my Google Drive and uh, like for this map it'll take you right to the Goldcrest Google Drive for this map now I will say if somebody's watching this off in the future which right now it's uh, August 3rd 2017 for me recording this but if you're watching this off in the future and I'm not making these videos anymore, I'll probably only leave that Google Drive active for maybe six months or less after I'm done making this series. So the bot, basically the link will still be there, but it won't be any good after, say, six months of uh, not making this series. Because I, I just can't keep uh, all this stuff on Google Drive forever, basically. Because it's like, it, it gets to be gigs and gigs and gigs when you're running two maps, three maps, whatever. Because I've only got the 15 gig Google Drive right now. I'm not paying for a Google Drive. So I just use, you know, the 15 gigs that Google gives you when you, uh, when you, when you sign up for an account and stuff. So I, uh, I kind of have to keep rotating the stuff in and out, basically, is what I'm getting at. But uh, all good there. All right, so, yeah, all right. So who's calling me? My sister's calling me. She can wait just a minute. I'll call her back after this video. Hi, sister. <laughs> I wonder what she wants. It's not, sometimes when she calls, it's like, uh-oh. What does she want? <laughs> but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. We get along most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time, my sister and I get along fairly well. Alright, so we are almost done up here. That guy in 31, he's like, am I ever going to be done? <laughs> Speaking of guys, let's go jump into this one. And get him moved across the train tracks. I don't know why I'm folding it up. Other than because I can. How about that? <laughs> Sneak between the trees, right? She just leave me a voicemail. She did. See, my sister knows the rule. No voicemail equals no call back. <laughs> you call me and you want me to call you back, you better leave me a voicemail. She knows the rule. <laughs> that is definitely a rule that I have um, in, in the family here that you better call me back or you better leave me a voicemail. So otherwise, I'm not calling you back. Just saying. All right, what else do we need to do? You are done. Let's uh, hit all the buttons. Get that head folded up. And we will be putting these in the homestead somewhere, of course, the heads. Because we don't need them anymore. Or for now, anyway. We will plant corn on this map again on a uh, somewhat regular basis. But for right now, there's no reason to, uh... Okay, yep, I know who the voicemail's from. Thank you. <laughs> the question's not even for me. <laughs> the voicemail, it's not even for me. Wow. She asked me, and this is probably too much personal life, but... Hey, I'm an open book around here, right? She asked me to ask my mother to check her phone because apparently my sister asked my mother a question and my mother has not gotten back to her. 
Ooh, hashtag, I don't know about that. I don't know. All right, we'll just leave the combine parked there for now. It's going to be a little while before we need combines again because we're going to be messing with cows hopefully next week on the series. Not hopefully. We will be messing with cows next week, boys. We will be doing uh, stuff with cows, mixed rations, all that good stuff. I can't wait. I'm actually kind of excited. We've been saving stuff for cows. We've got grass bales. We've got hay bale or straw bales. We've got bales for days. And uh, kind of ready to go. We got our silage cooking over there. At the old biogas plant, and uh, once we get that done, we should be in really good shape. So there's that. Okay. All right. 21,000 here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Really, only would have had to empty this combine like halfway through and then at the end of this field. That's not bad at all. Uh, of course, that means we done, didn't get that much corn yield. Um, but that's alright, I guess. That is alright, I guess. Ooh, these combines are great. They could just use about a thousand pounds on the rear end. <laughs> Weight those things down a little bit. Would be nice, you know? It really would be nice, but that's alright. They're all good. And the best part is they roll 26 across the field. That's uh, pretty good, so. It's not bad having to drive them across the field back to your homestead and stuff. So, yeah. And actually, oh, that's why that field's fertilized up there, by the way, guys. That's why that field's fertilized. I remember now, this map has chopped straw on it. And if you cultivate the chopped straw in, cultivate, culti plow, whatever you want to call it, either one, um, it, counts as, uh, it counts as fertilizer. So field 20, or field 31... Uh, had whatever crop was in it before was chopped. That's why it's fertilized. And actually up here, uh, 12 and 14, 15 are going to be the same thing. They're going to be fertilized because of the chopped straw. So that's why that is. I forgot about that until right now. Definitely forgot about that, but it's all good, right? All right, so let's park this just right here for now. Let's go get in our truck. Because our truck's full with 120,000 liters of corn. And let's try to chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Up the hill. Come on, baby. We actually should get the newer Stevie truck. This is the old one. The newer one, I think, has a few more horsepower under the old hood. I believe. I believe. But for the most part, this truck is fine for this map. This trailer is fine for this map. We don't need anything bigger. I could go doubles, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if we went doubles, we would need a truck with a little more, uh, a little bit more ponies under the old hood. You know what I'm saying? So, because this map actually has a few hills, which is amazing. So, uh, you might need something just a little bit bigger. Stop, please. Brakes would be nice, too. But now I'm just getting picky. <laughs> uh yeah we either have that or we have the man i mean it's a actually it's no different horse wait where's the horsepower it's no different horsepower from the in-game truck so there's that now we do also have on this map we do have the road train pack and of course that has that truck has horsepower for days you can go all the way to uh 1300 if you want 1300, 760, either one. 1380, sorry, 760. So you can crank the horsepower up there. And actually, I wouldn't mind using the road train pack on this map. I'm using the trailers for hauling wool around anyway. I don't know. There's enough room on this map where I can actually see using it. So maybe that's something we'll have to do in the future. I don't know. After cows start making us uh, a decent amount of money, that might have to be something we get into. Uh, of course, we're poor right now. Poor is a relative term. But, of course, we are relatively poor right now because we spent all that money on uh, on the new combine. We traded off. We sold off our old combine for, like, 79000 We totally should have kept it, actually. For $79,000, you couldn't beat it, basically. But the capacity sucked compared to these combines. So, that's why I went ahead and traded out. And then... 
Uh, yeah, we sold the Crone off as well. The Crone, we made a, or we got back a fair bit of money on that sucker. 300 and something thousand. 330,000 or something. If you guys didn't see last video. Uh, that's where we got all that money to buy the cub line, basically. So, that was not too bad. That wasn't bad at all. Let's go ahead and switch over. We need to find the train. This train, of course, I was lazy and left it all the way over here because that's what I do sometimes when I'm feeling lazy is leave the train laying around. After I sell off, I uh, often don't bring it back. I really should get better about that, though. Just saying. I really should. And actually, is it the best price for canola? Or corn? We can, we can sell other places, too. I'm not locked into just a train because we don't have the quantity on this map like we have on some other maps. You know, like we have on Rattlesnake. Like we have on Cherry Hill, let's say. Cherry Hill is insane how many leaders we actually produce on a weekly basis it is absolutely insane how many leaders we're producing by the way guys we pretty well play that map every friday and saturday right now uh one of these days on a friday night we're not going to play that map and i'm gonna well i don't know because then they can't do songs so all right what do we have we just dumped karn and that wool price oh that wool price uh, we just dumped corn, and we should take it. It's actually the best price, or second to best price. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and just take it over there with the, with the train. Uh, that beats a great demand price at Mary's. That's kind of amusing, not going to lie. But hey, what are you going to do, right? All right, stop. And corn it shall be. It's gonna take a minute. You're almost done with 31. Nice. Uh, let's see. I actually want my truck because we have. We don't need that canola in storage. I'm not even sure why it's in storage, honestly, but there's canola sitting up there. Let's go get it. Get it brought down here anyway, and uh, we'll, we'll check the price before we dump it down here. See if we can haul it somewhere else and make some decent money. Probably be a good idea, right? And wool pallet situation, about four, maybe five. Four and a half, whoopie do. Not worth my time. Not worth screwing up that price. So it's been a while since I've done one of those, like, kind of epic y uh, fast time sessions on this map where I make, like, a lot of wool pallets. I should probably do that again soon with the uh, price of wool, what it is. It's going to be pretty good. Uh, train at two, two. Train at two. No, the bakery's better at two five. All right, we're taking her to the bakery down. Uh, wait, my stuff's off again. My stuff's off again. Turn that back on. There we go. Down. Yeah. All right, let's take a, a load down there. We can always run a load to the train and sell it there too. But you know, it's worth more money. It's worth a fair bit more money, honestly. You know, it really is. Worth a couple hundred, so we might as well. It's gonna take an hour to fill, but that's okay. Okay, you're done, so actually, you can go grab that other planter and get cranked up. How's uh. Okay, we're still culty plowing in 16, which is fine and dandy with me, but we need to get planters rolling. We got a lot of planting to do, and I got really far behind on it because I just, I don't know why. I should have started the John Deere like a lot sooner. I really should have. Uh, almost on top of the culty plow. Need to keep that in mind next time. But when you culty plow, it's like everything just gets set back so far. But it's all right. It's all good. No worries. Ain't no thing like chicken wing, right? I don't eat chicken wings. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Basically. Couldn't tell you. All right, let's just park this. Uh, that looks good. <laughs> Somewhere tree cutter is cringing with his hand in his head right now, or his head in his hand, palm face. You know, palm, you know. Sorry, tree. My bad, dog. My bad. And he's done it, Mary. Sweet, sweet. Getting a lot planted here. Just even that one field, that just seems like a, a victory to me because that's a pretty good-sized field. 
Not gonna lie. She's pretty good size. Don't worry, guys. We do have our hazards on. Oh, no, we don't. Don't worry, guys. We do have our hazards on for safety, be it on the road. Turn all our lights on so these cars can see me run them over. <laughs> don't get in the way of the bud. Fear the big bud, boys. Fear it. Definitely should fear the big bud. Or something. So, guys, we will get this uh, going. I'm actually going to sell grain next time. Because we are at time and we need to find some seed. Is this seed here? I hope this is seed right here. It looks like fertilizer, though. It looks, it looks. Yeah, it's fertilizer. Okay. There's seed over here? Well, there might be. It's all liquid fertilizer. Where's seed at? Is there not seed down here? Maybe there's not. Okay. Be that way. Um, that's all liquid fertilizer here. Ain't gonna do me any good. Let's just, uh, oh jeepers. We will just plow on, guys. We'll worry about getting some seed uh, after this field, probably. So, all right, and we need to switch to the soy bean. Why can't I switch to the soy bean? There we go. Switch to soybean, and like I said, guys, we will come back next week on Wednesday, and we will be selling grain, and hey, we'll be getting into cows. It's time. It is time. It is time. I'm excited. It'll be a good time to, to you know, mess, get as many cows as we can. We do have to buy some equipment for that, but get as many cows as we can and get them rolling. So that should be a really good time. Make sure you guys tune in for that next Tuesday, noon central. Don't forget, two videos a week of this series and on Rattlesnake. Until then, guys, make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. I'm your boy, John from Poopaw. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, toodles.